Well, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time of day you're watching this, I have no clue. I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy, and I am, where am I? I am, uh, I don't think anybody will ever be in here again. Um, well, it won't be as clean as it is in here. So, uh, I'm actually inside a garbage truck right now. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I thought this might be kind of fun. But uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look at what we got today. Woo! It's a, it's a brand new T370, so let's check it out. It is a beautiful day. We are outside here in front of Inline Kenworth in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And we're looking at this brand new 2021 Kenworth T370. So this truck was specced and ordered quite a few months back and uh, it's getting picked up here tomorrow morning. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at the spec. I'll do a quick walk around and uh, that's what we'll do today. So this truck is a 254 inch wheelbase. It, that, this body on the back is just huge. Like I just can't get over how big this, uh, this packer is, it's just monster. Uh, we ordered it with an 18,000 pound front axle and the rear axle is 46s. We'll take a look at that here in a minute. Uh, starting up at the front here, we have the fender extensions because we got the 385 tires uh, ordered it with the steel bumper painted the same color as the cab just gives a nice nice white bright finish to it uh, ordered it with the uh, hood mounted mirrors just for better visibility in and out of the uh, residential areas where this truck is is operating uh, as far as the mirrors we have the west coast style mirrors heated both convex and main mirror and then I have the, uh, the work lights up on top of the mirror brackets. So that's a, a factory option there. Uh, we ordered it with the fiberglass uh, sun visor with the marker lights integral into the cab, into the visor there itself. Uh, down this side here, we have the fuel tanks. It's a 75 gallon, sorry, 56 gallon uh, tank here in the uh, 22 and a half inch diameter and then you get the two inch straps with the, the that size of tank. And then uh, there is the def tank. Uh, back here, we have the batteries uh, mounted onto the cantilevered box here. And then the air dryer is uh, back there. So it looks like a few things were, were moved around to, uh, to get the body to install, but uh, sometimes that, that is required to make everything fit. With all these, uh, you can see the, the mounts for the body right here. So sometimes that stuff has to be moved around uh, to make everything fit in there. So as far as the body, I don't really know the, uh, the function of it uh, as far as the functionality, but uh, you can kind of get it here. We got the tailgate. I don't know if that lifts the gate up itself. Uh, and then you got the ejection. This, so the basically inside here, I don't know how easy it is to see, but uh, we've got this big ram here and this would push everything to the back uh, when you're ejecting everything. As far as the back end here, like I said, we got 46 rears. Uh, it's got the Hendrickson Primax suspension. So that's a 46,000 pound rated suspension, full locking differentials. And uh, we got the aluminum level one rims. So those are 
uh, machine finished, so they come up nice and shiny like that, but they're actually technically not polished. But uh, so that's when you order a level one rim, that is basically what you get right there. As far as the back end here, uh, you got these guys here. This is basically to just lock that into place so you can't lift this up. Uh, but when you wanna, I guess, open up the tailgate, you undo that and then the tailgate would lift up and then you can eject it out into the garbage dump. Um, I don't know what this driver's signal is here, but anyways, button right there. So inside the body, we were there earlier. That's basically uh, the garbage packer. And then uh, this guy right here would actually flip down and uh, basically create a wall. And when that wall is there, then you can compact everything so it presses it in there good and tight. Uh, you got some more controls here for uh, speeding up the engine for PTO, uh, PTO speeds. There's a packer, carrier, the winch. Uh, winch is right up there. Um, and then you got another control. So like I said, there's lots of controls on here. I'm not really uh, an expert on that stuff, but uh, yeah, pretty wild, pretty wild. Uh, on this side here, we have the toolbox. And then uh, this giant pipe here, this is a hydraulic. So just monster, just huge. I've never seen hydraulic pipes this big on a truck before, just humongous. Uh, we have a secondary fuel tank here, 75 gallon. So you got uh, good fuel capacity on this truck. And then up here is the uh, exhaust, single stack. Basically the only configuration, you can't get dual on a medium duty. I wish you could, but uh, it's not offered. Never has been. So we'll open up the hood, show you what we got under here. All right, so uh, under the hood here, we have the Packard PX9 engine. Uh, so this is a 350 horsepower rating on here and then uh, paired up with the Allison uh, transmission. So that's the Allison automatic. Uh, as far as here, like I said, we have the uh, 18,000 pound front axle rating, has a 20,000 uh, pound axle itself. And then uh, we have drum brakes on it as well, all rated for the 18,000 pounds. Uh, around the other side here, the hot side, we got your turbo. Uh, the HVAC system is right in here. Changing that filter is very easy to do. So this comes off no tools. And then now you have access to the uh, engine filter right there. Engine air filter, that is. Uh, we got this little latch right here. Just engage that so we can close up the hood. One thing I wanna point out here with our medium duty trucks, you do have centralized fluid level checks. So uh, you got your engine oil fill, uh, your engine oil check down around, sorry, right there. Uh, your power steering, washer fluid, your coolant up above, and then there's your transmission check right there. And then, like I said, on the other side, you got your air filters. All right, so inside the truck here, we'll just kind of show you around what we got. Uh, so we got the power window lift controls on both sides right there and there. Uh, there is the mirror heat control. Uh, comes standard with the locking uh, uh, door locks right there. Uh, down below here, there's the ignition. Uh, there's the work lights up on the mirrors uh, to adjust the dim or brightness of the dash. And then there's the DPF regen switch right there. Uh, we have the additional gauges right in here, the optional air suspension gauge for the rear end. Uh, here's the standard uh, gauges. And then down below here, you have this control, and that is to control this guy right up there. Now there was a few additional uh, uh, additions that were done to the dash here, as you can see. Uh, so these are the, the factory options here, the air suspension dump, your diff lock, your power divider, uh, this is an add-on. Again, not really sure what some of these things do. Um, and then uh, there is the a couple spares, engine brake, uh, and then there is the headlights, and then the cruise control and high idle control right there. The Allison transmission uh, uh, push button is right there. And then here's a whole bunch of uh, uh, 
controls that were put on by the bodybuilder. There's your fuel and your def gauge. Uh, up above here, there is the uh, camera system for the aftermarket installed camera that was put on with the bodybuilder. And uh, that is basically what we got going on. All right, so that's it for this week's video. I appreciate you coming around to check it out. Uh, a big thank you to Norm at B&M Delivery for purchasing this truck. Uh, thank you so much for putting your trust in us and uh, letting us spec this truck out for you. Uh, hey, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, you can click the link down below here and uh, you can hit subscribe, knock off that bell. That way you get notified about future videos. And if you want to also see what we have for sale as far as new or used trucks, you can click up here. It takes you right to my website, thekenworthguy.com, where you'll find our inventory. There's a section on there where you can customize and build your own trucks with aftermarket accessories. Uh, so check that out if you want to, uh, to uh, yeah, go check that out. So uh, thanks for watching this video. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.